the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description to the GitHub Pop OS shell page on GitHub. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is copy the link to the GitHub, open up your terminal, and type git clone, and then paste the link in there. Now, once it is done cloning the repository, you will find that the shell is in your home directory, the shell folder. So we are going to cd into the shell folder. We're going to type make. It will make, you know. <laughs> um, and then we're going to type make install. And when that finishes, we will want to do two of the following. If you're on Xorg, you can press Alt, F2, R, and refresh the shell. But if you're on Wayland, you're going to have to log out and log back in. Um, but once you get that sorted out, you can open up your extensions and look for the pop shell, enable it, and then in the corner you'll see the pop OS shell um, <laughs> a tray icon and we are greeted with a lot of options so the most important thing here is tiling the windows and as you can see it does a really great job of organizing our windows we can press win enter and move the window around uh, another cool thing that it does is that you can press alt and uh, or a wind and the slash button and you can quickly just open applications like that we can also uh, go here and press the show window titles button disable it and we will have a little bit more a little bit more space sometimes <laughs> here we go so let's disable that yeah it'll hide the window buttons when it best can. Um, now you can also change the active hint color and it will show the focused window. Um, there's also a shortcuts page here and I'm very sure that we can customize these but don't take my word for that. Um, let's close that. It's a, it's a very cool extension, and I would definitely encourage people to try it. You can actually increase the gap size as well, set them to a bare minimum of zero. I like to have just a little bit of gaps, though. <laughs> um, you can make some extensions to a couple of things here as well, uh, exceptions. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you install Pop! OS Shell on other distributions. It recently gained, uh, gained GNOME 40 support, as you can tell. Um, and I would encourage you to check it out. Hopefully this tutorial was of help to you.